Welcome back to Railgun Adventures. So, um, it's been a while since I made a video that was uh, just for fun, really. Most of them have been reviews or looking at maybe higher end stuff. So this is pretty cheap junk that I bought with a view to giving it to my dad, because my dad used to love his sharper Novas. Back in the sort of 80s and 90s, he always had one or two on the go, and they were a, a bit of a passion. He used to take them apart, used to refinish them. He really liked them. He made them into really good, usable air guns, and he hasn't had one for about 20 years. And now he can't find one, or at least he can't find one that he wants. So this is a Webley Rebel, which is a imported Chinese rifle that is a direct copy of the Sharper Nova. Sharp's a Japanese company, long since gone. Now it's a copy of the Sharper Nova. It doesn't look that much like the Sharp because of the synthetic stock. Um, the only thing that makes this Webley in any way, shape or form is the fact that it says Webley on the side. So this rifle was imported in various countries and had different brand names on it. And um, it's got Webley on in the UK. Now the stock, I think, is an improvement on the Sharp, but um, I'll come back to that. So the way this works, it's a single shot, multi-pump pneumatic. So you pump it up, like the Crossman's and Sheridan's and many others. I'm just gonna put three on, because three is relatively easy. Once it's pumped, you pop this little catch just here, which is spring-loaded, and releases what we're gonna call the bolt for the sake of argument. I don't think it is a bolt. In this tiny little hole here goes your pellet and it does take a 0.177 wad cutter easily. That's the way to go with these. You just pop that back in, take off the safety, which is a push through safety, just down there by the trigger. Once that's off, you're good to go. So I will just fire that off. Now, it's pneumatic, so like a PCP, unmoderated, it's quite loud but you can add a moderator because it's pre-cut with a half inch UNF thread, which is covered with a metal protector. And that's actually quite a good quality. Bit of kit there. In fact, if I put a silencer on it, I might keep that. Anyway, that side. You can pump this up to eight times. Actually, you can pump it up further than that, but you don't get any advantage from it. But at eight times, it will give you around about 10 and a half FPE, dependent upon the pellets that you're firing. Um, much like the Sharp did. Now the Sharp was renowned for its accuracy and this is pretty good. I don't know if it's as accurate. It might be me because it's open sights and these are fiber optic open sights but the fiber optics are gone. So um, it's not quite right. Um, so I'll have to try and source a, a rear sight for it. Now getting back to the Sharp and Over thing. Those rear sights I'm told are the originals and they say Sharp on them. I've been inside to have a look and everything in there looks to me like a Sharp Nova. So one of two things has happened. Uh, they've got a Sharp Nova and they've copied it and they've even taken the rear sights and made a mould and reproduced them. Or they've bought the plans from the Japanese Sharp company and built the rifle to that spec, maybe even with some of their tooling. But either way, it is close enough to a Sharp Nova to uh, fit the bill. It's pretty light. Um, the trigger on it is much like the sharp trigger, and by that I mean it's quite agricultural, but it does the job. The more you pump, the stiffer the trigger gets. You know, it's one of those things, I suppose. Safety is quite nice. It's nicer than the sharp one. Um, it's much nicer than the sharp one, actually. So that brings me to the next stage of the plan. So I'll take this to my dad, see if he likes it, let him shoot it if he's happy. If he's happy, I'm going to do something with it which will make his day. Uh, I've got some of these Parker Hale Dragon like one stocks, which are Italian walnut, they're really nice. Um, this is a particularly nice piece of wood, to be absolutely honest. And what I'll do is I'll cut it. I'll, I'll cut it probably back here at an angle to match the angle of the plastic stock, pump handle at the front, and then the rest of the action in the stock, and away you go. Time that's had a few coats of oil, five maybe uh that'll look lovely so that's that's ultimately what i plan to do but i won't get into all that if my dad turns around and says that's a pile of rubbish son take it away um which could happen but that aside there is a plan for this rifle 
I didn't get this to do a review. I wasn't planning to even make a video about it, but I thought, you know what? It's been a while since I've done something that is just a bit of air gun talk. So let's do it. Um, going to pop five into, I'm going to pop three into a target. I don't fancy all that pumping. Um, just to prove that it shoots. As I say, it's pretty accurate. Um, at 15 yards open size, so I can get a 10 pence size group with this. Um, I might better squeeze that down if I spend more time with it or even play around with some different pellets. Now Webley probably missed a trick with this because this was marketed as the Webley rifle and people were saying it's a copy of the Sharpen over on forums and the like. Really, if they said that this was the Webley version or homage to the Sharper Nova. I think they'd have sold a lot more of these. Now they're not an expensive rifle, they're cheap. I think they're around 100 quid mark new, maybe 120. Um, they haven't been gone for that long, I don't think. Um, I can recall seeing one of these. And it, it seems like yesterday, but it, it may have been four or five years ago in a gun shop. And I think it was about 120, 130 quid. And I was tempted then, but um, not tempted enough. Now I'm I would keep this actually. I, I would have this in my collection. Um, it's a self-contained, uh, low maintenance, easy to shoot, fun little gun. And I would keep it in the black stock, but um, I know my dad won't like the black stock. So we'll see how that goes. So quick bit of shooting, come back and uh, just round this whole thing up. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's a bit of shooting. I don't think that's a bad little rifle. Um, I've read about them, and people have said they're not great, uh, they're poor quality, that they're badly made, uh, they, they're they a pale imitation of the Sharp, they're not accurate. Um, I don't think that's the case at all. As I say, I would keep that. Uh, that doesn't look to me like a nasty cheap rifle, and believe me, I've had some nasty cheap rifles. Anyway, I'll let you know what my dad said. So. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all again soon in the next one. That's it. Bye for now.